Well, good morning and welcome again, hopefully you're back, to Wellness Wednesday here at the 60 Up members page. I'm Kathy Stevens and as you know, today is Healthy Aging Workout with 60 Up, the 60 Up system. This is Healthy Aging Month, so I've really been trying to focus in a little bit more on sharing some great tips and some great ways for us to age healthfully. Today, I have a real special um, plan in mind in terms of what we're going to do. And I like to call it my healthy mind, healthy body, or healthy body, healthy mind focus day. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, there is a huge connection, and you all know this, between our mind and body. The brain and body are connected through neural pathways made up of neurotransmitters, hormones, and many chemicals. And these pathways transmit signals between the body and brain to control, control our everyday functions, from breathing and pain sensations to movement and feelings. So we can often say that a physically fit or healthy body tends to increase the endorphins or the mind reducing mental stresses. And that's why it is so important to keep the body healthy and to do physically fit activities to release those endorphins or the feel good chemicals that are in our brain and release to make us feel positive, to feel happy, to feel good about our day. But on the other hand, you've got to say what happens if your mind isn't feeling healthy or in a good place. So we know the body can affect how the mind feels with those endorphins, but we also know that positive thinking, positive thoughts can lead to positive actions. And maybe that action is to feel like getting up and doing your regular exercise routine. So it is a yin yang. And we have to think in both terms and find that balance between the healthy body leading the healthy mind and the healthy mind leading the healthy body. Sounds a little chi-ish to us or Tai chi-ish. So we're going to focus on that today. We are going to include a session of Tai Chi towards the end of our workout on the 60 Up Board system. So let's talk a little bit about what I mean about Tai Chi. So Tai Chi is kind of an ancient Chinese martial art or way of moving that has a lot of mindfulness or flow, meditation, deep thinking as you're moving. And we know through research that movements in that family of Tai Chi, Chi meaning the body life energy, and Tai meaning balancing or changing that energy through movement, can help reduce stress, reduce stress improve your mental state, and hopefully your overall state of aging and wellness aging. And since that's our goal this morning and this month, I'm going to focus on a little bit of 60 up chi today towards the end of our workout so you can be looking forward to that. Now in the beginning of the workout, we will be doing our traditional movements that include some balance, some cardio, some strength, just so you can know that you got that minimal 20 minutes of cardio respiratory and strength workout in for the day. But then we're going to save the latter half of the class to really work on that chi and really work on the mind body connection. So hopefully that's exciting for you all. I am going to encourage you to have a few things nearby, obviously water, because we know that part of staying healthy is staying hydrated. So make sure you have your water out. Uh, you're 60 up board and as you notice, I don't have any bands on it today because I do want to save that extra time to work on that slow controlled, more meditative Tai Chi movement towards the end. Everything will change, attitude, feeling, breath, music. It's all going to come together in the latter part. Um, the other thing is to have a chair nearby because in some cases, if you need to sit down or take a break, it's just nice to have a couch or chair nearby so you can take that break. Now, when we get to the Tai Chi portion of the class, I am going to not be holding on to the poles, but that doesn't mean that you can't either sit down or hold the pole with one hand as we go through those fluid movements. And we'll talk more about the focus and the way to do those movements in a positive fashion when we get to that part of class. 
But with that said, I do want to recognize who's here with us live in the room right now. I see Mona's here, Chad, Doug, and Pat. Thank you for being here and letting me know you're here. So I know that I'm being heard and seen. Sometimes we have glitches anytime technology is involved. So thanks for being there and shouting out. We are going to get up. We're going to get started. We're going to work on our endorphins first because as we know, body can lead mind and endorphins reduce stress in the body. So we're going to get an endorphin pump going and then we're going to calm ourselves down and be more mindful with the Tai Chi movement. So here we are in September, Healthy Aging Month, Body Mind, Mind Body. We're going to do it all. Let's get up and let's get started. Hopefully you're ready. All right. Here we go. Let me get my background beat on and we are ready to hit it. All right, let's get this connected to the Bluetooth. As we say, a little technical difficulty here. nice and tall behind your 60 up board. Let's think about our posture. Feet about shoulder width apart, knees soft, hips level, shoulders back and down, head up high, chin parallel to the ground. Now just softly place those hands on those poles. Let's be a little mindful in our warm up and just do a little shift of our weight to the right and left and let those fingers stretch out a little bit. So I'm just bending one knee then the other, Push those fingers out and in, out and in. Take a breath, inhale, exhale. Reach out, pull in. Nice. Now let the heel come up on one foot then the other. I don't know if you can see my feet down there, but I'm just bending one knee and lifting the heel. A lot of multitasking going on right here. Wake up that brain, wake up that body. We're talking about the brain-body connection today. Healthful brain, healthful body, healthful aging. Keep going. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now bend both knees, drop back and up. Sit into the hips, let the fingers flip up, then let them flip down. Here we go. Up, down, sit back. Put the weight into your heels and See if you can lift your toes a little bit in your shoes. That's it. Sit back and up. Feel those muscles pumping. Warming up the lower body. Four more times. Four and three and two. Now sit back and hold. Now take and reach the right arm up. Pull the palm to the ceiling. Lift and drop it down. Other arm, reach out, pull the palm up, lift up, and let it float down. Try that again. Shoot the right arm forward, push the palm up, lift it, and let it float down. A little bit of a Tai Chi move there. Reach forward, fluid, mindful, and float down. Two more, here we go. Right arm, shoot it front, roll the palm up, lift it, and let it float back down. And then left arm out, float the palm up, lift it, warming up that shoulder girdle. Now the spine, drop and roll. I always like to loosen up the vertebra with a nice back roll. Keep in mind that if that doesn't feel comfortable, all you have to do is reduce the range of motion and possibly not do too much of the rolling action, just fold at the hip and then unhinge. So for most of us though, this should feel really nice, loosening and limbering in through the back, through the spine, through the muscles, through the tissues. Again, inhale as you go down, exhale as you roll out of it. Inhale on the down. Mindfulness also means connecting the breath to the movement. We'll be doing more of that later when we do our little Tai Chi on board. Here we go. Two more times. 
increase that flow, last one, all the way up to a tall standing posture. And now put your palms on the poles again and just lift the heels and push down with the arms. Then float to the floor. Push strong up, float down. Push, inhale, exhale as you float down. Push palms, and now this time as you float down, let your knees soften. Again, mindfulness. These aren't traditional Tai Chi moves, but they have that same feel of energy flow with breath. Inhale up, exhale, soften down. Push your palms down, lift up to your toes, and then reverse. Again, lift up, push the palms down into the poles. Ooh. Again, push up. Engaging those shoulder muscles, those arms, those legs, everything working here. Last one, up, push, and roll to soft position. Now, stand tall, grip your handles in the normal grip position, and let's just lift the toes on the right and the left. Feel them up. Work into the beat a little here. Here we go. Peel up. Let's get those toe picker up muscles going. Activate that tibialis anterior muscle of that lower leg. Chin up, chest up. Just let that toe, I don't know if you can see what my feet are doing. You keep going, I'm just gonna step up on my board so you can see a little bit more clearly what I'm hoping you're doing, which is peeling up one foot then the other. Keep going. Excellent. Four, three, two, now one foot, right foot up on the red line and down. Just let's kind of step on alternating right and left. Just bear the weight and push back. Getting yourself used to that board as we warm up. Lunge in and off. Softly catching your weight and pushing yourself back to the two foot stance. Getting that neuro the muscular system connecting to the board, connecting to that little bit of unstableness that you feel when you first step up. Opening up those neural pathways. Excellent. Keep going. Keep in mind, posture is always important. So every once in a while, I'll go back and think about that head over shoulders, shoulders over hips, nice tall posture nice engaged muscles around the core pulling that belt line in tight lifting that sternum dropping those shoulder blades still making that stepping action step in and out that's it four more start to feel the blood flow increasing the heart rate increasing the respiration increasing last set last side Nice, now let's step up right and left and rock side to side. Just let that body shift like we did on the floor, bending the knee, allowing your body to just move side to side. Let the heel come up a little bit. Let the knee bend a little bit. Feel in control. You are the master of the board and of your universe. Yep, we have that positive thinking going. Connect it to the body. Bend one knee, bend the other. Shift the board. Excellent. You got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now center out and let's lift those toes just like we did on the floor. The toe picker uppers flexing upward with the ankle. That's it. I know it's tough, especially if those muscles haven't quite woken up yet this morning. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now sit back slowly and stand tall. 
sit back slowly and stand tall. Just give me a nice little back squat. But I want you to be very mindful and thinking about the board as you move through that sit back chair squat. How much is that board moving? Are you in control or is it controlling you? Put your mind to your body, your body to your mind. Here we go. Sit back, see if you can keep it as level and steady as possible. That's it. Figure out what is it you need to do to keep that board more stable. Are your hands contributing? Is that upper body helping to stabilize through the poles? Recognize it. Is it down at your feet? Do they need to be maybe a little bit better positioned? Are you equally distributing the weight back into the hips? Right and left side. Try to connect. Connect to what the body's doing. That's called proprioception, kinesthetic awareness. Put your mind and body together in space. Here we go. Sit back and pull it back to the standing position. Sit back. Excellent. Two more times, you can feel those muscles start to kick in, can't you? Last one. And then we're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna go for a little walk. Here we go, walk and rock. Pull up again, nice and tall. Think about your posture, mind body we go today. Head high, chest up, chin parallel to the ground, shoulders back and down. Abdominals pulled in slightly. And push, push, pull, pull, heel up, heel down. Let's go. Let's get that cardio up. Now we know one of the probably easiest ways to get a little bit of endorphin chemical flow going is with cardio exercise. In particular, when you're in a fun and easy state, a nice what we call steady state training. That means you're not huffing and puffing, but you feel it and you feel good about it. You feel yourself breathing nice and deep, opening up the lungs, smelling the roses as you're going for the walk. It's stress-free, but yet it's active in that nice, moderate, steady state zone. So if you can get your heart rate and stay there for a while, as you are pumping the heart and pumping the muscles, you're pumping the chemicals. And that's our goal right now, is to get that endorphin flow up. Nice, keep going. Chin up, chest up. Positive thoughts. Let's think of one. Well, you're here today, that's positive. Pretty good weather. I know here in California, we actually have some rain, and that's some. Right in the middle of a heat wave to get some rain. That's a positive thought. We're supposed to reduce our watering, and then guess what, nature gave us some. How positive is that? Can you think of one? What's happened in your life this week? Something great, something just positive. It doesn't have to be great. Sometimes the little things are just as good as the big ones. But as we're going for our nice little brisk, steady state endorphin walk or endorphin rock, I want you thinking positive thoughts. We're putting it together, gang. Mind, body, wellness, health. Here we go. I wish you could shout out your positive thought. Maybe if there's someone else with you today, you can share it. Because there's nothing more positive than sharing a positive, right? How you feeling? On a scale of one to 10, if 10 was, I'm exhausted, Kathy, let me sit down. And one was, hey, just got here, not even warmed up yet. Where are you? Well, our goal is to be about halfway, it's about five or six. That's a very pleasant state to get into and keep a steady state going. Now, if you wanna make it a little tougher, just lift your feet more. Try to get a little more of a, I don't know, I guess I could call it a prance or a jog step going. Nice and simple, right? If I want you to have the time and the energy to absorb what's going on, 
to feel it, find the positive about it. Yes, you're here today. Loving it, keeping it smooth. All right, let's shift out to a wider stance. And then as we go more to about a two and a half or three, bend your knees more and let's absorb it more in the hips, the knees, the shoulders. I'm not even pushing with my arms. It's a little different feel. Now my knees are turned out and so are my toes, which is also going to engage the buttocks or hip muscles a little different. Feel that squeeze back there. That's it. Push and pull, push and pull. Take a deep breath right here and tell me how you're feeling. I hope you just said great. At least good. Nice. Now it's okay too if people need to take a break and it's getting too much for you. Maybe you're a first timer or maybe you're just coming back from not feeling well. So always know to take personal breaks, but we're on the go here today, guys. We've got to get that endorphin high going. So I'm not giving you any fast, hard breaks yet. But we will get some water soon. Let's go. Push and pull. Use your arms. Use your knees. Use your toes. Push down into the toe box. Go, go, go. Excellent. Just get in the rhythm. Get in the rhythm. You can do it. Get the beat. Right, left, left, right. Again. Four, three, two, one. Now, let's bottom out, bottom out. I want you to imagine you're moving through water. We're just going into water aerobics. I wore my water aerobics shirt today, meaning it looks like a nice wave. There we go. Or maybe some people think it looks more like sky. What do you think? I kind of look at this shirt and I feel so fluid. That's why I wore it for our Tai Chi that we're going to be doing. Where we're going to move slowly and intently, kind of like we are right now on the board. As you lunge into one side and then the other, you let your heel come up and then your heel go down and you really engage and feel those muscles gripping to catch your wave. Wave right, wave left. You got this. Push in, push out. If you want, you can actually step into it, creating a little different sensation on that lunge pattern. So let your foot come up and down, but do look down occasionally and make sure that as you're doing that repositioning of the foot, that it's staying on the board. And I'm doing a little more rotation at the hip opening out more so with my toe, almost like I'm going to turn a corner as I make that step. It's a little more mindful. I have to know where my feet are. I have to know where my shift is. I'm still moving. I'm still grooving. I'm still feeling that nice, steady state, hopefully. Catch your weight and push off. And see the pivot? See how my knees, my toes, my ankles, they're pivoting together. That's important because that mechanic keeps the joints feeling healthier in these type of patterns or movements. And there are times in life where we don't just go straight forward and back. We have to make those turns in life, right? Four more. Three, two, last one and back to center. Walk it in, left, right. And let's go back to our... <laughs> Nice light walk or jog in the center. Inhale, exhale. Take a deep breath. Whew, how do you feel? Give me a positive uh, adjective there. How are you feeling? Great. Healthy. Up. Mindful. Energized. Alive. All of those are good things. Let's go. Endorphinized. I just made that one up. 
We're going for the endorphins, gang. Remember, this is Mind Body, Body Mind Day today. Mind Body Wellness, Body Mind Wellness. And we're using the fact that light, comfortable cardio elicits a hormone called an endorphin to be released in the brain, which is a chemical that makes you feel relaxed, that makes you feel positive, maybe even joyful. All of those are great terms, so we're hitting for it. And you just need to stay in that moderate zone of intensity where you feel the need to breathe, but you're on top of this. Whew. You can keep going and you feel like you could just keep going and going and going and going. Remember, for those of you that are a little more advanced, you can hop it up a little and get that foot to do more of a prance or a jog versus a low shuffle. Excellent. You know, sometimes simple doesn't mean mindless. It just means you're not too distracted so you can enjoy the ride. You know, you're just going for the feel. You want to feel that nice breathiness, that heart rate maybe elevating in your chest in a good way, in a positive way, in a vital way. Here we go, here we go. Think about your posture for a second. Pull that head up high, pull those shoulders down, lift that sternum, tighten that waistband. Boy, I feel a nice strong beat coming out. So let's move wider. Now remember, on the wider move, it is more of a lunge and go, push and pull. And you can use your arms more to get that board really moving as well. Your knees are out, your toes are out, you're a little turned out. Push it, come. Hear that beat, boom, boom, boom. It doesn't matter if you're on the right and I'm on the left. Just keep in motion. Chest up. Knees are bent a little and your hips can be back a little. Depends on how you're feeling. As long as it's lined up and feels good, keep going. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Nice. Chin up, chest up. We've been moving, we've been grooving. So when I say you want to stay in that steady state, long enough to get those chemicals releasing, the happy, happy mood busters, mood lifters, mood elevators, at least 12 minutes. Longer's better if you can. Building towards 20. We've already been on this for about 12 minutes, so we're already hitting our mark. How are you feeling? Hopefully, Better than when we started. That's a positive thing to be. Better than you started. Whew. Keep going. Chin up. Chest up. Ready to slow it down a bit? Here we go. Slow. Push. Be a little bit more concentrated. And if you want, unload and load. But remember, I'm turning out my hip, knee, and ankle at the same degree. So I feel really good about moving into that side lunge, side lunge. Look down occasionally, just to make sure that the feet aren't going so wide that you're gonna be stepping off board. Not yet. Just lunge it side to side, push it down. Be in control. Feel the muscles grip, feel them go. And breathe. You know, sometimes, when we're going at a little quicker pace like we were a second ago, you don't even notice that you're breathing a little deeper, a little more fully, a little more rapidly. And then all of a sudden you do a little slower, more concentrated, mindful move like this. And whew, you say, boy, where did that breathless or breathiness come from? Nice. Keep going. Push that board. Pivot that hip. Keep in mind, the pivot is important. You want the knees and the toes in the same direction as the turn out of the hip. Beautiful. Woo, we've got this. 
Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now step it back to the center. Oh, beautiful. We're going to take a little water break. How do you feel? Bottom out, step off. Get some water right now. Whew, keep moving though. If you can, keep a little shuffle going. I'm checking in just to see if there's any important comments on your end. My glitch, I think. I got it right back. Okay, Chad, he didn't. Uh -huh. Hopefully you're back with me because we've got a lot to go and some fun new stuff today. So let's get ourselves hydrated and then we'll move on. Okay, come on back. Whew. How you feeling? All right, let's start on the floor and just take a step tap movement and check in together. Thumbs up, everybody, thumbs up. That's always positive, isn't it? So, I want you to think for a second. Do you feel a little uplifted? A little more energy? A little more positivity? Hmm, close your eyes if you can do this. Ooh, that makes you a little dizzy. I don't know, you don't have to close your eyes, but I really want you to be thoughtful right now. Are you feeling good? Do you think maybe you release the little endorphins? I hope so. All right, so now we're gonna move in the next phase and we're gonna really focus in on balance and control so we can get a little mindful about it. And then of course, as promised, we'll move into our 60 up Tai Chi up. Get your Chi up. All right. So bring it back to the center, feet together, place the right toe on the red line, heel up, and just give me a slow sinking back and up. Sit back, sink and lift. Chin up, sink and lift and sink. And we're gonna take it up a notch. So we're gonna sink on the back and lift on the up and sink and lift on the up. Oh boy, that's a lot of strength and balance on that downward leg. Whew. Again, touch your toe, lift your knee. Touch your toe, lift your knee. Is that left thigh getting tired? One more time. Up and put it back. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Ease off a little of the muscle tension. Take a deep breath. Feel good with it. All right, settle up on the right side, left toe on the red line, heel is up. Start with just that grounded sit back squat. So sit back and up, take your time. Let your hips lead the movement, not your knees. So sit back into your hip and gluteal area and then up. Sit back and up and breathe and up. Now, if you want to, advance it. Sit back, make contact, lift up, balance. Woohoo, that was a hard one for me. You're going to feel this on the standing leg, in the ankle, the knee, the hip, the core. That's it. Again, sink and lift and sink and lift and sink good job four more four and up and three concentrate on that balance leg one more excellent all right step on up level yourself off in the center both feet about one and one or one and a half and one and a half. Get centered. Get centered. All right. Get comfortable and try as hard as you can to keep both sides of the board off the ground. See what it takes. Is it in your toes? Is it in your ankles? Is it in your knees? Your hips? Your shoulders? Level it out. Now keep it level 
and raise your right hand if you're having a great time today. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a planted positive thought. Now raise your left hand if you're having an even better time than you were a second ago. Let's keep doing this. Raise right. And remember, what is it you need to do through the rest of the chain of your body to keep that board still, to keep it quiet, to keep it controlled? Up and down. Ooh, you got this. Up. And if it gets a little off-centered, just take a second and figure out what it's going to take. Is it the toes? Is it the heels? Is it the foot position? Is it somewhere else up your body that maybe you can level out and calm it out? Here we go. Four more. Right arm and back. Left arm. Now inhale as you go up. Exhale and soften as you come down. So we're going to move into a little more full body movement up with the breath. Mindfulness. Now we're going to let it be more of a Tai Chi hand, which floats and almost feels like it's drifting up and down, almost like your hand is a paintbrush and it's painting the wall up with the fingers, down with the palm. Inhale up, aha, I told you we'd get into the chi. Feel that energy rise up through your body, through your lungs, through your arm, and then Exhale down in a calming way. Lift up and paint brush down. Use that upper body, use that lower body. Be mindful, be slow. Excellent. Two more, inhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Now step it wide. Let's go to three and three. That's it, three and three. Just get, again, mindful and balanced. Find it. Now, it's a little harder in some ways when you're wide. You have to think more from your hip and pelvis. Get it centered, get it centered. Bend your knees a little bit and see if that helps you center. Find it. You might have to use your palms a little to push that board back if it starts to get too far to the left or too far to the right. See what you need to do. Be mindful again. Find it. Nice. Now from here we're going to do a little bit of a, I like to call it a sumo or plie squat. And once again, be thinking how to balance the board underneath you. There will be a natural shift. But it's all about you gaining control of what feels uncontrollable, but truly is not. You're in control. Down and up. Again. Bend. Be mindful here. Chin up, chest up. Knees bend, knees extend. Hips drop. Head stays high. Good. How's that feel? Are you getting it? Excellent. We're gonna add my little chi pattern to this. Are you ready? So from a wide stance, we're gonna let the arm come down and then up like a bird's wings. Now we're just gonna do the right arm for now. We're gonna inhale as we go up. We're gonna exhale as we come down. And it's about the flow. Think of building energy up and calming on the down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, bird wing, it's a one wing bird. The other hand is helping to stabilize that board. Open up those lungs, keep that chin lifted, and then put that hand back onto the pole. Let's continue with the other wing. Again, bird in flight, lift. Take in that oxygen. Breath work is also such a positive mind-body activity. Also known to help induce that chemical endorphin flow. Inhale, 
Apply that wing, exhale, bend those knees. Are you still trying to keep that board steady as possible? I hope so. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale, bend both knees equally. Feel the breeze under your wings. That's it, feel the lift. Feel the release. Let it go all the way up your fingers, down through your shoulders. Slow and controlled. Now, to challenge if you want, and this is an if you want only, both arms. This may not be everybody's cup of tea, so feel free to go back to a right hand hold for about four and then switch the left hand hold for about four. There's those wings, fill them up, fill the air, and to your lungs and exit your lungs. Strong, fluid, feel that balance of the chi, the Tai Chi. Inhale and exhale, yin yang it. Mind, body, body, mind it. Last one. And bring those arms in, hips back, stretch out a little here. Toes up. Beautiful, let it stretch. So we're gonna start to calm it down a little bit. Lunge, but keep your body forward. I don't know if you can see how my body is, but from the side, it looks like this. I'm forward with a nice long line through my spine. I'm just stretching into that inner thigh and hip by lifting my toe, keeping my body weight leaning forward, straightening one leg, bending the other, repositioning a little bit if I need to. If I feel like I'm getting too far forward, just stand more upright. Slow it down, pull it to the side, control it. Now we're gonna leave a good 15 minutes for us to get into our best chi for the end of the workout. I promise that to you. So we're just slowing down that heart rate, bringing ourselves back to a one on that scale of one to 10. Remember during the cardio, we were at about a five or six. How are you feeling? All right. So let's go ahead now and lunge it towards the right. Hold it here, slide together, stand tall. Chin up, chest up, posture up. Hold here. I want you grounded on the right side. I want you to take one arm and hug it in like you're hugging a tree, and then I want you to exhale out. Good. Exhale on the in, bend the knees. Inhale on the out this time. Here we go, one arm tree, hug. Hug the tree, lift the chest. Hug the tree, lift the chest. Hug the tree, lift the chest. Don't forget to exhale as you come in, inhale as you go out. Pull that energy into your core. Breathe up and bring in new energy from the environment. Feel that hug. Hug yourself as you hug the tree. One more. Now we're gonna ease ourselves slowly to the other side of the board. Ground it to the left. Free the left hand, and again, we'll start with an open breath, and then a hug with the exhale. And as you open breath, you lift a little bite, unbending the knees, and as you hug the tree and exhale, hug your heart as well. Hug in, inhale out. Pull that energy of the room in. Lift up and grab more energy. Again, pull it into your body. Hug it. Open it. Be very thoughtful of your breath, of your fluid motion, of your fluid positive energy building thoughts. Again.
Take that time to really let that air go. And then to fill it back up. Two more times. Last one. And now place the hands on the pole. Step off the board onto the solid ground. Put the feet about shoulder width distance apart. Now from here, we're going to open out both arms and we're gonna hug the tree and hold the pole on the end. Inhale. And remember again, if you are one of those people that's really working on standing unsupported, maybe you're someone that needs a walker or a cane or a chair, you can always keep one hand in contact with the pole, alternating the one that lets go as we do our floor hugging of the tree. Inhaling up, exhaling and sitting back. Flow it guys, get into the flow. Open your chest, fill up with energy. Exhale, pull that energy in. To the universe, to your inner universe. Inhale, exhale. So Tai Chi is about the flow of energy. The yin and the yang, the in and the out, the up and the down, the inhale and the exhale, the building of internal energy or chi, life force. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more energy builder and bring it here to center. All right, walk it to the center of your board. Now I'm going to make a shift. If you would like to get a water break or pull a chair out behind you, we are going into the final phase of the class today. And as I promised, I really wanted to bring us into a more meditative state, utilizing the, the, the theories of Tai Chi on a grounded floor position. So at this point, please do get yourself a chair if you need it nearby. Take your sip of water. We're gonna change the mood with the music as well as the movement because they do go hand in hand. We know our brain responds very well to rhythmic. It stimulates certain areas of the brain that are very healthy for us and can help generate the mood we're looking for. You know that intuitively. Have you ever been at a in the car or at a wedding or a party and a song comes on that brings you happiness because of the memories that it's connected to? So that's, again, an idea of environment and music affecting brain chemistry. So now our brain chemistry is about to go into the calmness of water or the sky to feel the chi and the energy you can create with chi movement or tai chi movement. So I'm gonna be behind the board just so that you see that you don't have to hold on, but if you get shaky, it's right there. That's what I love about this product. It's right there. All right, feet about shoulder width apart. Let's start with that bird wing flying effect that we did on board. Let's see how it feels on the floor. And I do invite you, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do this myself. If you would like to do this in your bare feet, it adds another element of connection to the ground. So I want you to feel free to do this free of shoes, if you like. I know I didn't give you much time for that. If you're gonna take your shoes off, do make sure you're not on a surface that will be slippery if you've got socks on. So you either need socks that have grip or take the socks off and let's just go barefoot. All right, here we go again. Inhale. They say just five simple minutes of Tai Chi type movement, coordinating a flow, a beautiful sensation of breath, and of course, opening the mind to be focused on what you're doing, where you're going, as we exhale the energy out, inhale the energy in, like a bird in flight. See yourself in the sky, focus in on my shirt, see the clouds, See the blue skies. 
Inhale up slowly. Exhale down and bend the knees softly. Let the fingers float up with the arms. Float down. What kind of bird are you? Something with big wings, I hope. Here we go. Up and down. Five minutes of this type of movement. Research shows that it can really improve not only mood, but it can reduce blood pressure, increase endorphins, add to that healthy mind, body, body, mind sensation. Two more. Up. Down. One more. Then we're going to take our right arm and imagine you're opening the door as you step out a little wider. Open that door out. Recenter the body. And this time we're going to open and close a window in front of you. So again, float up. Like you're opening the window. Sit back and float down as you exhale. Soften the knees. Again, up. Softly down. Oh, imagine it. Maybe think of rain going down the window pane. Water, it's always such a medium for stress reduction, for wellness. You need to drink it, you need to be it. Think of that ocean, that pool, that lake, that river, where you find your peaceful water. slowly bring the feet together now remember to hug the tree hug the tree and open readjust your stance if you feel like you got your feet a little too narrow or too wide be comfortable as you hug that tree hug that chi in that energy in give it out to the rest of the room to the rest of the 60 up members out there inhale exhale share share your positive energy multiplies it. Inhale, sit back, exhale. Be aware. Feel the energy in the lungs as you blow out. Feel the energy in the body as you inhale in. Two more times. Hug that tree. One more. Now opening the door to the left, just meaning stepping a little wider as you open out. And then once again, coming to the front as we let that window pane go down and then float it back up. Exhale, soften down, close the window. Open it up to the breeze. Let the rain fall down the pane. Inhale, exhale, be connected. Feel the connection to your fingertips as they float up to your palms as they draw down, to your lungs as they fill up, to your abdominal muscles as they help push the air out, to your hips and knees as they extend, to your hips and knees as they bend. Two more. Open it up to the front. Close the window down. Open up. Step in softly as you close down. Now, we're going to angle or lunge step to the side and push out and then pull back. I want you to think of your body as a wave now. Inhaling as you lift it to the peak, exhaling as you draw back, just like the tide. Inhale up, exhale back. Feel the wave, feel the energy up. Coming back, regaining more energy for the next peak. Up and back. Shift it. Feel the flow through your body, through your arms, through your hands, through your wrists, through your core. About that breath. Are you inhaling up? Are you exhaling back? Pull with the tide. Again. Feel your organs massaged as you roll through the wave. Life energy, one more. Bring it to the center smoothly. Now this time, we're gonna take, and instead of hugging the tree, we're gonna imagine that we're 
hugging the moon. So we're gonna grab this energy ball in the center and we're gonna inhale as we switch, exhale as we gather. Bending the knees as you gather that energy moon to the center, center chi. Inhale, exhale, switching which arm is on top. Don't worry about this one if it seems a little challenging from your coordination, you'll get this. Inhale out, exhale in that with that energy. Pull it into your center. Pull it in. Big hot ball of energy coming in towards you. Imagine it healing, creating positive, healthful chemicals throughout your body. Again, pull it in. Two more. Gather that big ball. Last one. Bring it out. Get ready to step to the other side with our wave. Push that wave. Inhale. Lunge it back. Be the way. Feel your body move with the tide. Inhaling as you lunge forward. Exhaling as you come back. Inhale. Exhale. Bring that energy to a peak. Calm it down and pull it back into you for the next wave. Inhale up. Exhale back. Build the wave. Do you feel the flow? Doesn't it feel nice? In your mind's eye, see the beach. See the wave. Couple more. Last one. Hit it center. We're still at the beach. Take those wings up. Here now the seagull. Exhale. Inhale. Go into flight mode. See the view. See the bigger view. See the forest through the trees. Inhale up. Exhale down. Feel the flight. Feel the light. Two more. Last one. Bring it back. Find the energy ball. Open out. Gather in. Open out. Gather in. Receive it. Bring it to yourself. Give it. Bring it back. Again. Feel the energy you create. Feel the energy you consume. Feel the energy you share. Can you feel that ball? Put it where you need it. Do you have a sore knee, a sore hip, a sore heart, a sore mind? Put that energy right there in your mind's eye. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Now bring it in and hold it. Just give me a small bend of the knees. Hold on to that energy. Close your eyes if you can. I know it, at this point you might be tired. But I want you to see the light in your mind's eye. I want you to see the ball coming into your body. The energy, the moon, the sun, the wind, the waves, the birds, everything. The trees that we hugged. See them all right now as pleasant thoughts pleasant actions, positive flow, positive energy. And then bring the hands together in front. Bring them down to your heart and bow to yourself for taking this time, this day, 
to work on your aging wellness with me, Kathy Stevens. Mwah. Thank you for being here with me. I will see you again next week. Remember that Dan is always here on Tuesdays and Thursdays as well. So you've got no excuse not to work out at least three times a week with us live. And then of course, you can catch the replay throughout the week and repeat any workout that you like, that was your favorite, that made you feel good. Because this is all about feeling good this month. Thank you again for joining me. And I will be checking in for messages. So please leave them. Doug, thank you for the thank you. And I do enjoy any questions that come up. I try to answer them throughout the week. So let me know. Signing off. Take care. And I hope I left you feeling in a more positive space. Take care.